Hello, ladies and gentlemen, I am your host, Loke123. You're joining me for Choices of Stories You Play, Rules of Engagement, Book 1, Chapter 18, Last Call. Also, please stay to the end of the video, because we have an update and news. Now playing as Katie. It's the night of the Captain's Ball. You and your siblings and Elena are all at the boat's boutique getting ready. I'm so glad we could all get ready together. Thanks for coming, guys. Are you kidding? This is so fancy. I feel like I should have dressed up just to get in the door. I think your outfit's fantastic, actually. The saleswoman comes by and offers each of you a glass of champagne. Damn. Ah, uh, yes. Free champagne! This is how you can tell that the price tags here are going to be off the charts. Oh, diamonds! How are you? Personally, I prefer something with a ton of fruit juice and mixers in it, but free champagne is free champagne. Everyone takes a glass except for Jess. I've never seen Jess turn down free. Oh, anything. Especially not alcohol. Are you kidding? I've got to work tonight. Wow. That's something I never thought I'd hear Jess say. Blake needs this to go really well. This is serious. Well, then there's another thing I would never thought I Jess would say. Is anyone live tweeting this? Honestly, Jess, I'm impressed. You're growing up. I think you have feelings for Blake. I think you're growing up. Aw, thanks, sis. To tell you the truth, I just realized that I've been acting like a small brat. Blake's got real problems, and I can't let him down tonight. Not to mention that you need to keep your job in order to get your inheritance. Or did you forget that part? Oh, yeah, of course. That do. Speaking of which, Alex and Elena, shouldn't you two be acting more all over each other? Oh. Right. Alex and Elena link arms, and Elena rests her head on his shoulder. You guys, better stay focused tonight. Katie may have trusted Jess and I with your secret, but I'm sure Violet won't be on your side if she finds out. And I bet Nana's lawyer, Dinesh, will be at the captain's ball too. One mistake in front of him, and we've blown our cover. Just then, the sales lady calls Elaine over. Looks like they're ready for me. I'll be back in a bit. She seems really cool, Alex. You could do a lot worse for a fake girlfriend. Uh, right, yeah. I like her a lot. I mean, I, I, li I like her. Or, uh, wh what about you, Nicole? Uh, how's your progress going on the list? Uh, to be honest, I've stalled out a little. I'm just... Not sure what to do with the internship with Blair Hall. If I accept, I basically have to move to London next week. It's my dream job, but I just don't want to destroy Nana or Audrey. But enough about me. Uh, this is a big romantic night for Katie. A romantic dance? That's the perfect time to get more serious with one of her suitors. I am nervous. Honestly, I've never had three guys interested in me. At once, before. Three? William, Leo, and... Dean. Uh, something happened last night. I mean, he kind of ran off after, and we didn't talk about it. But I think maybe... Ooh, he likes you. Wow, Katie, three guys. I can tell you a thing or two about how to handle it. Oh, please, don't listen to Jazz. She might know all about the flings, but she's about as far away from getting married as anyone could be. Hey! Whoa, whoa, this is about Katie. Who do you think you want to hear from? Shit. Um... Well, Jess knows about flings, let's be honest. She knows how to get it with any guy very easily, but the thing is, keeping them is the problem. She doesn't know shit. She's more professional than anyone in this group. And Al- 
God damn, man. Alex sucks, too. He's kind of very naive. You... Can I talk to the chandelier? Um... Shit. I don't know. Typically, sisters usually get sister advice from each other, rarely from their brother. I feel like breaking that double standard here. Me? Really? You're my older brother. I look up to you, you know, sometimes, anyway. Okay, well, I might not know a lot about proposals, but I know you, Katie. Deep down, you know what you really want. You just have to have the guts to go for it and believe you deserve it. Trust yourself, Katie. You've got this. Thanks, Alex. And that is the brotherly advice that typically brothers give. Just then, Elena steps out. God damn! I mean, what? How do I look? I have to confess the saleswoman talked to me into splurging on this. Okay, Alex, if you don't ask her out, I am. You're perfect. I mean, it's it's perfect. Thanks. I think they're ready for you. I guess I'd better dress my best now. Alex steps away and returns a few minutes later. Nice. How do I look? Wow. Er, I, I mean, that, that works. You clean up good, bro. My turn. I... I haven't thought much about what I'll wear. Something other than a flannel undershirt and a cotton or wool top? That'd be great. You've gotta wear something gorgeous. Please, for me, your beautiful sister who's stuck wearing a waitress uniform. Just grabs a dress off the rack and holds it up to Nicole. Wow, this is a plunging neckline. Just try it on, please. Uh, thanks, sis, but I'm gonna have to go with this one. Nicole picks out a demir pink dress, goes in the changing room, and a few minutes later. Do I look okay? You know, if you continue to frown like that, you're gonna have wrinkles in no goddamn time. Uh, yes, you look fine. You look adorable! Don't you chair change out of it. Now, Katie's turn, where I'm sure I'll be hiding behind diamond walls and I'll wear an orange sherbet dress. Jess grabs a gorgeous golden gown trimmed with lace and holds it up to you. This! Oh my god! It's a quad goals, Katie. It's kind of a dress you get proposed to in. Please do it. I don't want to be the only sister all dressed up. Put it on! I told you! I couldn't even told you! I'm fucking done! Okay, now, okay, let's, let's, let's get real here for a moment. Um, I am really not feeling this. I'm not feeling the hair. Her face looks really distorted from an artistic perspective as well as just... Yeah. Um, I'm not... I mean, I'm... I mean, I'm sure God, people are going to be like, Well, you're a guy! You see the cleavage? Actually, no, I'm actually looking at this. Um, I'm not... Ew. Um... Ew. I'm no. I prefer the black. That looks pretty awesome compared to. Ew. Plus the hair is far better. And what the? I mean, <laughs> stick with my LBD. What the hell is an LBD? I guess this will do. Why are you sad? That looks gorgeous to me. I mean, the other girl in the group that's not your sister probably looks the best. But that night you and your siblings, and Elena, walk into the captain's ball. I can't believe how great this looks. You did all this, Jess? Not all of it, but I helped Blake plan and set it up. I guess I'd better get to work now. There's Audrey! I'm gonna go say hi! How about we get some drinks, Lena? You're gorgeous! I mean, yes, please, lead the way. As your siblings head off, Jess hangs back and nudges you, pointing at Dean at the bar. When he sees you, he starts walking towards you. Oh my! Looks like someone wants to talk! Have fun! 
Uh, thanks. Dean crosses the room to talk to you. Katie, I, I have something to tell you. I'm sorry about last night. I didn't want it to happen that way. I mean, I, I, I didn't plan for it to happen at all. What are you saying? I, I like you, Katie, a, a lot. I, I care for you probably more than I should. Dean, I, I should have told you sooner, but I didn't realize how far in over my head I was. I thought I could control it or fight it. I thought maybe I just wanted to look out for you. But I realize now you're the, the only one I want. I... You there, barkeep! I require a drink! Dean glances back at the line, forming at the bar. I'd better go for now, but let me know if you want to get out of here later. Dean turns to go, and you're about to follow after him when you hear someone calling your name. Okay, so by the way, I'm changing his accent. Last week I did kind of a gritty. I'm going to go back to what people were actually preferring. Um, Katie! No. Okay, hold on. Katie, thank goodness I found you. I'm going for Australian, by the way. Darn you! I hope the mysterious man's really going to... Oh my. you dark and handsome. I mean, what? Leo, you made it. I don't have much time. I've kept a secret from you, Kitty. I'm not who I... You think I am. I didn't mean for it to be a lie, but... When... You didn't recognize me. I thought I could finally get to know someone without all of this hanging over me. What are you talking about? Not here, sir. Katie, I'm sorry, but we need to have this conversation somewhere in private. Meet me later, and I'll tell you everything. Before you can say anything, Leo briskly walks away. It's hard to sit here and go, Crikey, mate! So I just went with something. Turning back to the crowd, you see Violet walking with... A pig? I mean, what? Mallory. Okay, the scheme of your... Your scheming aunt. Okay, Mallory, why not? Aunt Mallory? Oh, Katie, darling. There you are. My mother's been looking for you. I've heard all about how Violet's made an absolute mess of things here. I knew I shouldn't have trusted her to do this on her own. Now, I've come all the way out here to make sure dear Nana's wishes are being followed to the letter. Violet, dear, you're such a constant disappointment to me. Yes, Mother. Aunt Mallory. You shouldn't talk to your daughter like that. Yeah, she's or You shouldn't talk to your daughter like that. I'm not exactly Violet's biggest fan, but you shouldn't be so mean to her. Uh, thanks, Katie. You're welcome. Don't think you can tell me how to talk to my daughter. You and your siblings always were insolent little children. Now... I've heard that you will be married by the end of the summer, but your fiancé is gone. So tragic. I hope you're not planning to make some sort of life-ruining mistake, like rushing into a marriage with a complete stranger. Who knows? What kind of a moral scandalous sort would be attracted to such a proposition? I... Excuse me, ladies. Uh, Katie... May I have this dance? Gladly. You and William walk away from Aunt Mallory and Violet. William, thanks for saving me. What took you so long? Damn, you look hot. <sighs> thanks for saving me. Again. My pleasure. The band begins playing, and William sweeps you up in his arms. 
Oh, I thought you hated dancing. Something about looking silly? I ain't putting myself out there. But something happened, I realized. I've already put myself out there. I've fallen for you, Katie. William. Suddenly, you realize that William has been effortlessly leading you through the dance. Wait, you're an amazing dancer. Ever since what you told me in Venice, I've been picking up what I can. You're full of surprises tonight. This is just the beginning. I want to spend the entire night with you, if you'll have me. William, I... Just give me a moment to catch my breath. You edge away from the dance floor to get a drink of water. Looking out, you glance from William on the dance floor to Dean at the bar to Leo at the edge of the ballroom and think about what you really want. Whew, thank God they didn't make that choice right now. Now playing as Alex, you're at the bar waiting to get a drink for Elena. Thanks for waiting. What can I get you? I'll have a whiskey, and I'll... Elena was just talking about she likes to drink at the boutique. What was it? Um, no, it's not whiskey. It's not champagne. It's a fruity cocktail. Coming right up. You tip the bar bartender and bring the drink back to Elena. Is this for me? A fruity cocktail, right? Isn't that what you said you preferred? It is. I'm just... I can't believe you remembered. Of course I did. For your girlfriend. Look, Elena. I know I haven't exactly been the best boss or friend. I wouldn't say that. I mean it. Dragging you onto this cruise... Faking a relationship, enduring a sensual massage class with Chaz. To be fair, the class ended up being pretty fun. What I'm saying is, I want to be better for you, Elena. You're... You're very important to me. Alex, I... Thank you. For a second, Elena leans in closer to you, and you look into her eyes. Your breath catching, her lips part, and you move to meet her. God damn you! Well, well, if it isn't the happy couple! Sorry to interrupt. You, why would you jump apart? No, I would have kept going. I would have been like, you know what? You, I'm going to hold up my hand. I'm going to need a moment for you to go yourself because I'm holding up my middle finger now. Oh, where'd the other th four fingers go? Aunt Mallory! What are you doing here? Oh, why? I'm keeping an eye on my favorite nieces and nephews. I heard from Violet all about what you've been up to. And now that I'm here, I can't wait to spend a little time getting to know dear Elena much, much better. Hey, you want to go outside? Um, There's this beautiful view. So we can talk for a moment, Mallory? And I'm going to shove you over the edge of the boat. You and Audrey are racing through the captain's ball. The captain's hat in your clutches. She has runs behind you. Toss it to me. Coming at ya. Take the captain's Really? <laughs> really? You stole his hat? Return that hat at once! You and Audrey run round the corner, giggling. Poor Chaz. How am I put up with us? Eh... This is a good exercise for him. Now quick, take the hat and blend in the crowd on the dance floor. I'll lure Chaz away! You try to run off, but before you do, Audrey grabs your hand and pulls you close. You know, you look beautiful tonight, and I love her dress. Either that is a kind of like sparkle, or that's a black dress with seeming like stars on it, which is gorgeous. I love, I love it. So do you. Nicole, I'm glad we met. This summer has been so much fun. I can't wait to spend the rest of it with you. Aw, Audrey. She kisses you quickly, and then pushes you away. Now, go already. You got it. 
You run to the edge of the dance floor. Um. Um. Madison? Okay. That guy. No. Can I dance with you guys? Sure. I call it. I call it. Why are you people on the trip? The more the merrier. Thanks. I'm trying to blend in. Oh, yeah? I know all about that. I love watercolors. Oh. Okay. You dance with the college students until you see Chaz leave the room. Perfect. When he's gone, you stagger out of the th throng of dancers, take that, and stow it behind the bar. Hat successfully hidden. Now to find... Oh. Distracted, you run into an older woman. I beg your pardon? Oh my goodness! Is that Nicole? Aunt Mallory. I never believed that I'd ever see you racing around a formal function like some sort of hooligan. Oh, Audrey and I were... I mean, we're just... Just running around like children. Ill-behaved children at that. We were having fun. You know, Nina left me a list of things to help me be more outgoing. So I'm trying to... Yes, of course. Nana had her own perspective on things, didn't she? Yes, she and I never agreed on that. Oh. I'm sorry, but what would your parents think if they saw you running around like this? My... my parents? I hate to bring them into this, but... They never would have approved of this behavior. Your mother would have been so heartbroken. You really think so? You would... I'm gonna smack the shit out of you myself. My sister always talked about how clever you were. She believed you had such a bright future ahead of her. Nicole, I hope you don't lose your way. It seems like she was only functional and actually proper on that sister. Shit. Um, seed of bullshit planted. You race back and forth between the kitchen and the bowl, doing your best to make sure the evening is a success. We're almost out of appetizers upstairs. These people are guzzling down shrimp cocktails by the gallon. Carter, load me up. I can carry three trays at once. That's too much. You'll never make it. Damn it, Carter. I'm not asking you. I'm telling you. Carter places three trays on your outstretched arms, but the last one teeters precariously. I need to let the tray fall, balance trays, balance trays. Got it! Jess, I've never seen you like this. You're a beast! What can I say? We've got to step it up tonight. Blake needs this. Until you run into your aunt, and then you throw shrimp cocktail over. I mean, what? You run back to the ball and start handing out appetizers. Shrimp cocktail! Shrimp cocktail! I guess I've taken all the... <laughs> what is this word? Hors divorce. You turn to head back to the kitchen, but you see Blake talking to the captain. Wait, I thought... Yeah, ne never mind. I have to admit, I was worried. I was on the verge of firing you, to be honest. I'm sorry to hear that, Captain. But now, I'm impressed. So impressed, in fact... And I'm going to give you exactly what you've been asking for. He pulls out a gun and shoots him in the forehead. What? You mean... Yes. I've approved your request to add a Michelin-rated chef to your kitchen. And you'll be getting a raise, too. Along with your staff. Thank you, Captain. You don't know what this means to me. Just keep up the good work. As the Captain turns to go, Blake's eyes fall on you. Ease dropping again? I guess I can't blame you this time. In fact, I should thank you. Blake. You and I make a good team. I suppose we do. I won't forget this, Jess. I guess this stuff is going to change around her, huh? Sounds like the captain gave you a go-ahead to shake things up. 
He did. Man, you gotta smile more for a guy who just got everything he wants. You could take look a little more excited. I am excited. This is me celebrating. Holy shit, man! <laughs> Yikes, you desperately need my help. Just wait till we're done here. I'll show you how to really celebrate. We never did have the whiskey, did we? You mean the night we first met? Maybe it's not too late to break out some... and properly celebrate this achievement. It's never too late for whiskey. And I'm sure you run into Mallory now. Oh, no, wow, okay. At the captain's ball, you look around. Dean is at the bar, Leo is at the door, and William stands at the edge of the dance floor. This is it. Who should I pick? <sighs> well, shit. Okay, so... Here's my rundown of who we should pick. Dean! Pretty awesome. He already knocked Dean on his ass. However, his feelings are quick to be had. You can't say love at first sight because he's acted quite distant and just normal up until last episode. Um, Leo, over here, learning Leo's secret. Damn. Um, I mean, I wanted to learn more about him. It looks like he even has a bodyguard, and there's a lot of information about him. Oh my god. Um... It's tough. It's tough. But at the same time, he has not been at all honest with you, and it seems like he's running from his own demons, or his own past, getting out of here with Teen. William is so far the really hard choice. He's he's really busted his ass. Yeah, he's been living a life of, well, success and luxury and exploration, but at the same time, he has actually went out of his way with his such busy schedule to learn how to dance just for you. And I gotta say, you know, according to this, he, he danced perfectly, so he's really spent a lot of time refining his skills at dancing. Um... Shit. I'm gonna go with William. Just keep in mind, however, I may change this up in the future. Like I said, I am gonna be doing a Diamonds Unlocked edition of the story, so that story may have completely someone different. I would say secondary pick? Damn, it's between these two, and that's... I'm gonna have to really think on that. William, right now, he, he really stands out to me, so... You make your way over to William. There she is, the most beautiful woman in the world. You reach him and wrap your arms around his waist. He holds you as you sway to the music. Too smooth, Mr. Sloan. It's the truth. For the first time, I can see a future with someone. Oh, yeah? What does a future with a jet setter like you even look like? Honestly, it can be whatever we want it to be. Just tell me your dreams, and I'll make them happen. Okay, damn, damn, smooth. You'll just let me decide? I've been around the world, and all that matters to me now is that whatever my future is, I get to spend it with you. What would you say if I wanted to live an opalette mansion in a shack in the middle of nowhere, wherever the wind takes us? I don't... I'm... See, damn. Okay, we're taking into account me. I'm not a big mansion person. In a shack in the middle of nowhere. You know, I'm not gonna lie. I kinda... I kinda me as a person. Kinda like that. I always, if you ever watch Stargate SG-1, I remember Colonel O'Neill and him sitting there with a little pond in his back and he'd fish. And there was no fish in it, but he just, he would enjoy it in a cold beer. And that's something I could see. Um, wherever the wind takes us. You know, I think I'm going to go with that, though. 
not tied down or more to any one place, going wherever we want. That's practically what we're already doing on the cruise ship, isn't it? I don't mind. I prefer it. I bought real estate in different countries just for that reason. Oh, you smooth sailor. It sounds like you've got it covered. I'm serious. Wherever you want to live is fine. What about the rest of our future? I want to find that out together. There's still so much I don't know about you. For instance, what are your thoughts on having children? Oh my. Having kids? That's not part of my plan. I could see having one or two. Fingers crossed for triplets. My god, no. Um, shit. That's not part of my plan. I'm stuck between that's not part of my plan and I could see having one or two. I could see having one or two. Right now, me personally... That's not part of my plan. At least not yet. I mean, it is part of my plan. I'd like to have a son minimum one day, but... I could see having one or two. One or two seems manageable. The kids should never outnumber the parents. I completely agree. So, that's it then. Our future. Really? No, it is not that simple. We'll go wherever the wind takes us. With a couple of kids. Are you sure you'd want that? Really? Thick. Holy shit. It's just something I might have found... Stifling. A few years ago. People do change when they meet the right people. William, where is this coming from? You're dancing, your confession, you're asking questions about the future? I wanted to show you how serious I was about you. Before, uh... Before you what? Before I go away. What the f- The truth is, Katie... I have some business calling me back to California. I have to leave soon to discuss things with my business partner. I don't know how for, for how long. I thought he was dying. I'm like, what the hell? When are you going? In about five minutes. I mean, I'm not sure. But it'll probably be sometime earlier next week. What I do now is that we have this night together. Spend it with me. I'm done. Tonight we work on diamonds. William, I don't want anything more than to spend the night with you. I think I should call it a night. What are you, a toddler? Oh my god. So Pixelberry, me and you are going to have some words. I'm pretty tired, and it's late. Ah, oh, alright. I'll find you tomorrow morning. He kisses you on the cheek. Good night, Katie. Good night, William. Mr. Chivalrous. Good morning. <laughs> the next morning, after waking up and getting dressed, you find a note with your name on it, slipped under the door. What's this? You read the note. Dear Katie, meet me at the Nomad restaurant when you get up. I have a special surprise for you. Missing you. William. I wonder what it is. What surprise awaits Katie? Check out the next chapter to find out. Okay, so now that we have officially finished this week's choices episodes, at least the newest ones. Yep, we're gonna work on this diamond wall shit. Um, I'm gonna start working on that. Start pumping out the episodes to unlock all of the diamond options, not just some. Um, for at least books one. So that includes, and now I'm kind of pissed, that now includes all the newest ones as well. Because you know what? Wow, this doesn't even show book one. I think Haunting of Braidwood Manor is like a one and done. Huh. I mean, it does say axe, though. But I really hope they do more than one. I mean, I'm hoping they do, like... I loved it. I know a lot of other people have loved it. So, yeah. Um, Endless Summer book one, of course. You know, wow, there's... That is kind of foreboding and saddening, but I digress. Um, 
Yeah, like I said, that was part of the announcement. I was going to announce, okay, today and, and for the next few days, we're going to start cranking out. I'm probably going to start with Most Wanted Book 1 with Diamonds. But yeah, we're definitely going to get this shit started cranking out because I'm, I'm a little peeved after that. Could have spent with the night with him. I mean, what are you, a toddler, and you go to bed at, like, 9 because you're tired? I mean, uh, and I can only imagine what the next chapter is going to be. Hey, would you like to have brunch? No, I'm sorry. For 12 diamonds, I can't have an egg roll or <laughs> anything. What the hell? Um, so we're going we're gonna to put an end to that. Um, aside from that, I hope you guys really have enjoyed this content. I do have some brand new content coming out. We're really getting focused on shit now. Um, basically, if you haven't checked out the Caffle House, it's a new app. Um, basically, I did the one and done. I don't think I'm going to do any others unless people really prefer it. Um, it had a cute intro. However, the ads in the in the app, I have even left feedback on their app page. It really was atrocious, but it is a cute little video aside from that. It's a, it's a really cute little video, so you may want to check that out. Um... Force Star Wars Force Arena, brand new app that just came out. It is a fantastic game. There's no quote unquote diamond walls. There's no crystal walls. There's none of this bullshit. Basically, if you have ever played uh, Clash of Clans, but the new card game that was like Clash Royal or something, it's just like that, but it's Star Wars oriented. Fantastic graphics. Um, fantastic gameplay. I have to say, I've already done two episodes that I'm backlogged to upload from yesterday. Um, that uh, pretty much, I'm sorry that um, Rules of Engagement and Freshman Book 3 didn't get uploaded until this morning. Um, pretty much, I crashed last night. I had been up two days straight. I was really tired, going on caffeine as much as possible, and I kind of felt under the weather. Um, especially today is kind of like, it was a beautiful day, it was like 65 degrees, so I've sat in here with during really nice weather, and then as it's gone on during the day, the weather's got really cold, so I'm unhappy about that. So if you guys did enjoy the video, feel free to like, comment, share, and subscribe. I'm also noticing that other people are starting to take up the Choices app, and the, however, they are butchering the episodes into little parts so they can get more ad revenue because of YouTube, which, I mean, I do a whole video. That kind of saddens me, but I digress. Um, until next time, folks. I hope you have a great day. Until we meet again.